When working with a zipper, reach for the E zipper foot. Notice it has two places of contact. So depending on what side of the zipper I'm working on, I'll either attach it to the right side or the left side. For the first seam, I'm gonna stitch my zipper right side down to my fabric. So I want the foot to be over here on this side of the teeth. So that means I will attach it to the left side of the foot. When I lower the presser foot down, I'm gonna notice the needle is centered in that area. So moving the needle a little bit to the left as needed, so depending on how big your zipper is, you can decide how close to the zipper teeth you wanna actually be. Then just go ahead and line up or follow the directions in your pattern for applying your zipper. I'm gonna just run this right on down here. Even just the other night I had to put in a new zipper on my daughter's backpack and thank goodness I had this foot because it really served the purpose. All right, so we'll just end there. Traditionally, usually what you wanna do is after you get your zipper in place, you go back and top stitch that. Press that open, but now look, is my zipper foot where I need it to be? No, now I need my zipper foot to come down over on this side to the left of the zipper. So we're gonna take the foot off, switch it over to the other side, and now move my needle position to be more appropriately lined up closer to the fold of the fabric. So I'm gonna just move my needle all the way over. I just picked stitch number three. That's the straight stitch with the needle in the far right position. And then I can just follow that down for perfect top stitching on the project. Let's just take a look, see what that looks like. And that really makes it nice where the foot is completely out of the way for when you're working near those bumpy teeth.